Hey friend, thank you so much for being here. I'm Dr. Rose, the perfume lady. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a return subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate you. Hey, guess what? I have the new Bond Number no. 9 fragrance, New York Flowers, which was released in April 2023. This video is about a detailed review and first impression of the fragrance. In this video today, I will be sharing my detailed review and first impression of this captivating fragrance. So New York Flowers is the fragrance name and it was released by Bond Number no. 9. So let's just explore the fragrance, right? Let's talk about the scent profile, longevity, versatility of this floral gem. If you are a fan of floral fragrances or looking to expand your collection, this video is for you. I will be back. All right, are you still here with me? Thank you so much. Did you comment, like, and subscribe to the video? Thank you, I appreciate you. So, when I knew the fragrance was going to be released, uh, I said I was going to buy it the day it was available. So I did purchase it, and then it arrived three days later. So I was excited to try the fragrance. The bottle is super gorgeous. It's beautiful. So, but before I tell you about the fragrance, let me share with you the quote of the day. Entertaining, suffering the noblesse of our senses, the search for perfume goes no other way than that of obsession. Colette. All right, so before I get into this fragrance, I'm gonna read to you directly what uh, I copied from the Bond Number no. 9 website. It, they say, New York flowers, honors not just the democracy of the city's public botanical but also celebrates the spirit of joy, renewal and the natural wonders of each spring brings to our town. A celebratory scent that opens with sparkling notes almost like popping the cork of, of a bottle of champagne. So, are they full of it? Is this real? Is this perfume all that they think it is? So let's break it down for you guys, okay? This is the box. Came in a well, white and pink box. Of course with, you know, a plastic thing all over it, just like all the Bond Number no. 9 fragrances. I've already opened it and tried it. The first day that I tried it, I wasn't too impressed and uh, one of the subscribers asked me uh, uh, what I thought about it because I did uh, post on uh, Fragrantica that I was going to purchase the fragrance to add to my collection and she uh, messaged me and asked me what I, to let her know if I like it. At first I said to her, I, don't, I didn't think it was all that, but I did not give the fragrance, you know, it's true uh, uh, time test to wear it. And at the same time, I was coming off a really bad cold. So my senses weren't perfect for me to even try a new fragrance. I was feeling sick. I wasn't in a good mood. So I did not do the fragrance justice when I told her about it that day. But the following day, I was feeling much better. I showered, you know, colored my hair. And I felt I was feeling much better. And then I tried the fragrance again. So my perception has changed since the first day that I tried the fragrance. Am I in love with this fragrance? You're gonna have to wait to find out. So this is the bottle. So my box came actually broken inside, okay? Uh, I read on someone else's review who said that the same thing happened to her box. I don't really care about the box because I care more about the fragrance. I do not keep my boxes anymore because I am running out of space to put freaking fragrance boxes, okay? So this is the bottle. This is gorgeous. I mean, the bottle is like heavenly. Look at this bottle. So I paid about 400 and something dollars for it. It's pretty expensive. And Bond Number no. 9 fragrances are usually pretty expensive. And for the most part, 90% of the Bond Number no. 9 fragrances are really worth the price that you pay for it. They are super elegant, super feminine fragrances. But 
you know, the jewelry is still out on this one. So, you know, it has a pink cap. And I did not buy the one with the crystal because it's 700 bucks for the one with the crystals and I do not spend that kind of money just to have a pretty, uh, prettier crystal bottle. Uh, the back of it is, you know, plain white. Uh, the flowers are not in the back. But so now, you know, I have the original first release one. So this is not a reformation because this is the first release. I cannot wait to buy the body silk, uh, the body cream when it's released because I love pairing my fragrances with body creams. Especially this fragrance, I think it will be much, much better with the body cream. So let's talk about the notes. Top notes, we have, we have uh, Curl Royal, we have Green Angel Pears and Clementine. Middle notes, we have Grass Rose and Jasmine, and I love Jasmine. Base note, Iris and Amber. So this is a floral fragrance it's nice okay it's a nice fragrance so let me tell you of my impression you know of this fragrance uh, and I'm just gonna say you know to me this is a real it's a realistic and authentic rose and jasmine fragrance okay is it super flowery no it's soft it's kind of comforting it's reminiscent of spring and blooming flowers. These are the way that I am, I can describe this fragrance. It's pure, it's also simple. It's a simple fragrance, but gorgeous and sophisticated scent. Do I have anything in my collection that smells like this? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I don't have anything else to compare this fragrance to. It's good for a relaxing day at home. If you come home, during the spring and you want to relax, I would say you put on your really nice silk PJs. This perf uh, perfume will be perfect for that relaxing day at home. It's subtle and also it's refined. It's a refined rose and jasmine fragrance. It's not long lasting, but it's a noticeable fragrance up close. If you wear this fragrance up close for someone special, he or she will notice this fragrance on you. Could you be walking down the street and someone from two, three hundred feet away will smell you? Absolutely not. That person will not, would not, would not smell you because this is not that kind of a fragrance. But again, it's a beautiful, floral, feminine, elegant fragrance. Longevity. I got three hours on the test script. Okay, I'm not lying to you. Three hours on the test script. I was like, oh hell no, not for almost 500 bucks for a bottle of perfume to get three hours. On my skin, I, I sprayed it on my skin, I ended up get, you know, with five and a half hours. That is not bad. To me, five and a half hours for a bond number nine fragrance, for a floral fragrance, that is not super strong. I think it's okay. But now, let's compare this fragrance to other bond number nine fragrances. Okay, this is where you, if you are a true bond lover and you think that bond number nine cannot make any fragrances that is not bad, that is, uh, you know, not like superstar fragrances, you're going to be upset with me. But just remember, I'm not paid by bond number nine. I know I am not paid by anyone to give my opinion. I purchased this fragrance with my own money, so therefore I'm going to give you my full, honest opinion of this fragrance. Let's compare it. I have, like I said, I have a lot of Bond number no. 9 fragrances, okay? Let's compare this to some other Bond uh, gems, all right? Chinatown, Tribeca, Central Park South, Chelsea Night, and Dubai Ember. These are some of my, some of my most loved, favorite fragrances from Bond number no. 9, and I have a few other ones that I dearly love. Uh, and I will buy those fragrances that I just mentioned over and over again. Again, let me repeat them. Uh, Chinatown, I absolutely love. Tribeca, I could marry this fragrance. I could wear this fragrance every day and will have no zero complaint. Central Park South, I could actually spray my pillow with this fragrance and just go to bed and will fall asleep within five minutes because that's how relaxing this fragrance will make uh, makes me feel. Uh, Dubai Amber and Chelsea Nights. Oh, 
oh my god if there were if these fragrances uh if they had stopped making those fragrances i probably will, will be really really sad because i absolutely love those fragrances when you put this fragrance okay uh new york flowers next to these fragrances that i just mentioned this one does not hold a chance at all okay but it is still a beautiful soft floral fragrance and honestly i was expecting a little bit more from bond number nine even though this is a spring fragrance and which also could could uh, could be worn during the summer i was expecting a little bit more from the house but when i maybe you know uh, pair this with the body silk the body cream i may get a little bit more out of it my uh, opinion will change from a like to a love but right now it's a strong like for me it's not a love yet but i'm gonna wear it for a couple of days and see if i get compliments that might change my opinion of this fragrance uh let's talk about you know occasion where can you wear this fragrance to i would suggest that you know maybe a wedding daytime wedding in the spring or the summer uh, out to lunch work relaxing at home a walk in the park to meet someone coffee date don't wear this to like a formal uh, uh, place this is not that kind of a fragrance it i don't think it was made for that i think this is strictly a daytime fragrance my final thought about this fragrance if you are into floral fragrances and you know your fragrances okay you are a fragrance fashionista you are a perfume person you must have a fragrance when you see it you love floral fragrances and you can stand floral fragrances you're a jasmine lover you're a rose lover i would say i would suggest that maybe you might want to get your hands on this right if you are not into those two things I just mentioned, you're just a regular person who just buy a fragrance just to buy it, uh, or you are looking for your next best gem, something that you could go, wow, this is not for you. Okay? I would say try it, test it, get a tester, ask someone to sell you a tester, or go to the store and try it. Get a little one of those little maybe one ml from them and then try it out for, for a few days before you spend the money into this fragrance will i keep it hmm i don't know yet because i purchased it somewhere where i can actually return it i have 30 days to return it i'm i'm gonna spray it maybe a couple more times and then if if i'm not in love with it by then i may send it back and I do not like to return fragrances because I'm a fragrance lover, okay? Almost 300 bottles in my collection now. Uh, if I wasn't giving away my fragrances to people, I probably would be up to 700, dollars, 700 bottles. But I believe in donating fragrances, so this is why I have less than 300 bottles. And I am not complaining. I probably will keep this one. I probably will not keep it. The jury is still out. But nonetheless, it's a beautiful floral fragrance. And I love jasmine. I love rose fragrances. And I will probably keep it. And let's see about the sprayer. Yeah. Great sprayer. Beautiful fragrance. Again, I don't think it's for everyone. And the longevity on this fragrance is not the greatest. Sorry if I did not meet your expectation. If you were expecting me to say that I was in love with it at first sight, this is not a love at first sniff for me. It's a strong like for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you. And I hope you will comment and I hope you will come back and watch other videos when I post them. Thank you again. Have a lovely day. And have a super, super time shopping for fragrances. Bye now. Thanks.